it's so easy to slip into the illusion, accept illusion, and then just go on and say everything will be okay. And none of this will come back and get you. You won't have to liquidate your assets in the future to pay for your cancer treatment. You can think that way, but make no mistake about it. This stuff will catch you and there's nothing you can do about it in that sense. But there is a lot you can do about it. Uh, you got to learn to eat extraordinarily healthy. You got to learn learn to not touch GMO because it doesn't allow you to uptake nutrients. And you got to avoid breathing in noxic fumes. Even in small amounts, you got to avoid your children bring. And what I'm trying to say to you is because that displaces all the oxygen molecules in your body also. Also inhibits performances and rational thinking and so like if you got to go into a an argument or you're going to got to get into a debate that's going to get pretty testy you have to learn to breathe in the nose and out the mouth and regulate your breathing anyway i know i just flipped but it's just a trick that i've used all my life and that's why i always wear a full face when i'm diving so i can regulate myself underwater um and so what that does is, though, it enriches your body with oxygen. You think more clear. You make more rational decisions. You don't uh, become... Uh, if everybody had done that, you wouldn't have road rage anymore. Let's put it that way. If you'd done that when you were shooting in a game of pool, you would sink way more percentage. If you'd done that during a test, you would be able to recall much more. And you should do it every day of your life. You should wake up in the morning and be breathing in the nose and out the mouth and regulating it. And you breathe through your shoulders, through your uh, chest, and through your solar plexus, right? So you breathe three different ways. So you can expand your lungs by using those techniques. And you enrich your body with oxygen. Uh, unless you're in California where there's 1,500 buckyballs per cubic meter of air. Just go back to that slouch mode. Much safer. It's so easy to slip into the illusion, accept illusion, and then just go on and say everything will be okay. And none of this will come back and get you. You won't have to liquidate your assets in the future to pay for your cancer treatment. You can think that way, but make no mistake about it. This stuff will catch you and there's nothing you can do about it in that sense. But there is a lot you can do about it. This fact alone should uh, wake a lot of people up. U.S. insurance companies are now going to exclude all coverage for radiation claims. Well, so that's an extra reason to be watch out for radiation because we have to do it. And uh, so the weather, the toxic weather, the snow and the rain and everything we've been talking about. February 2nd, 2014. Insurance Companies in the United States have been notifying customers they will no longer have any coverage whatsoever for anything relating to nuclear energy claims, fallout, radiation sickness, property damage from radiation, all excluded. This begs the question, if the nuclear disaster at Fukushima power plant in Japan is as harmless to Americans as the government and scientists are telling us, why are the insurance companies specifically excluding coverage for nuclear energy related to claims? The government is lying about the danger. That's the only solution. TRN, uh, Turner Network, Radio Network, a P, uh, has a PDF of one such notice being sent by a traveler's insurance company. You can read it for yourself below. Uh, letters being sent by U.S. insurance companies are notifying policyholders of an important change in their coverage. Letters sent by the major insurance companies read as follows. Anyway, I'm not going to read the letter, but you can turn here and read it. And uh, there's all kinds of different things listed below here. 
but that'll open. I just want you to see what what's really happening, and uh, it's radioactivity is, is very serious. We know the animals are being, you know, their sores all over them. They're dying. Their their uh, insides are are cancerous. Uh, anyway, the uh, the walruses, the the bears, all of them are, are uh, exposed to the to the weather. Uh, and the snow and the rain uh, that's happening right now all over the northwest, all over the western part of the United States, probably over all areas of the United States because it comes down with the rain and the snow. So don't go out in the rain or the snow without an umbrella. Don't go out if you can keep from it. But you have to take precautions. That's the danger we're living in. Don't let your children play in the rain or the snow. Don't let them don't let them eat snow or drink rain water. Uh, it'll kill them. Anyway, God bless all of you. Stay safe. Okay, thanks. Just click below to go to this. Thank you very much.